I love hearing ghost stories, any sort of creepy stories. You actually stayed at a lunatic asylum? You gotta tell me more about that. Slice, this is your channel, Slice? I don't like this. I'm skimming to see if there's a pop. <laughs> I'm that type. But even then, I would still watch it even if there was a pop-up. I want to go here. I always was intrigued at the idea of like going to like abandoned places and supposedly haunted places because I'm a big nut for that kind of stuff. I'm literally the person that would get killed in a horror movie. You have private parts of steel. You got just got murals and blood paintings everywhere. This is totally not a place where they would do devil worship. Uh, red handprints. Oh, we love that. We love the red handprints. It's an essential in any house. Signs that say get out written in blood all over the wall. Guaranteed way to sell your house. The fact that you're still go- I would have fainted right there. But there's a school I didn't go to, but it used to be some kind of asylum or mental institution. They did lobotomies there. Back in my day. Back when they did lobotomies. Do they still do lobotomies? Probably not. Contrary to popular belief, I have never had a lobotomy. My grandparents lived in Japan. Every summer, my parents would take me there on holiday to visit them. I was playing by myself outside in the backyard. I heard a strange sound. It was a straw hat. That's where the sound was coming from. It stopped at a small gap in the hedge and I could see a face peering through. It was a woman, Aww. but almost eight feet tall. I sat down at the table and told my grandparents what I had seen. Grandpa's face became very serious. How tall was she? <laughs> there is something dangerous abducting children in this area. We call it Hachi Shakusama. What if the grandma and the grandpa are in on it? What if this is all some kind of morality tale and that's why you don't listen to eight foot people in the hedge garden? It's a very specific lesson. What if she found out years later down the line that she's getting some family heirlooms? A little, it's a little notebook from the grandpa and it's like list of prank ideas. Let's call it something crazy that sounds crazy. Let's call it Hachi Shakusama. <laughs> Imagine the look on their face. 